Oh, welcome.
finally see on a big screen uh, something where, where there was a song we were singing. Um, but when we were out at my mom's, um, one of the things that she wanted to do for her birthday was to make a fire with her friends and sit out in the yard under the stars. And um, we could see the Milky Way. It was one of those skies. Um, and it reminded me of the skies that we were looking at when we wrote the song.
You guys, I made the funniest joke in the whole wide world the other day. Chuck asked me for a pick, and I said, take your pick. Well done. I think, and after like 10, 10 years or however long we've been playing together, never made that joke before. <laughs> made a joke about pickpockets, but not take your pick, so. Now the world is a better place. Now the world is a better place. <laughs> conspiracy theory and then we're talking about that experience of like of really truly believing something that defined you and then coming out of that and sort of being able to see it for what it was um, but it also made us think about like that's a very stark example but there are also so many things that if we take apart our daily life there's so many stories that we tell ourselves that we tell ourselves as a society as a culture as a world um, so we just started thinking about that and uh, that's where the song came from What the hell were we thinking when we 
we made ourselves a set list and then we're just, we're, not we're being in the moment. We're breaking all of it. Nasty, what I gotta put up with. Mine's the one that's broken. Mine's the one that's broken, that's how I got to
Well, do you still have heard this one? This summer we spent some time in, um, in Wyoming in a little town called U Cross that has a population of 26 people. Um, but there's this beautiful foundation there and they give you, um, their mission is unlimited space and time. So they give you a 20,000 acre historic ranch to, to yourself basically. And um, every time you tell the story, I feel like you're gonna say they're gonna give us $20,000. <laughs> that would have also been great. I know that they didn't do it. They didn't. Because I was there, but you I was- You were like, like you're hope you were hoping. hoping. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, <laughs> now, now I'll think about that too. No, um, but we were. There was a different kind of green. There was green in the in yeah. the grass and in the in, in nature. Um, and we were spending. We spent a lot of time, just not with any screens or anything. Just very immersed in the natural world. Um, and we started to think about how in nature things don't take often don't take more than they need. They take what they need and they convert it into something else and then put it back into the world and that's their part of the cycle. Um, so we started to think of it as that was our responsibility while we were there was to take what we needed and turn it into something and then put it back into the world. Uh, and this is a song that we wrote that this is one of those offerings of that time. It's called If We Grow Wild.
this one? Yeah. Well, this song is about trouble. Trouble word personified. something to do with resilience <laughs> after that time. Uh, so this is called All the Things We're Made Of.
we will play that one for you. We're gonna we're gonna do one more, and then we'll do that one. How's that sound? I I was gonna I remember. It's it's normally like the fourth song that we play, so we're making you wait for it tonight. <laughs> one more that is also going to be on our new record that we are finishing right now. Um, and this, uh, I Recorded the Rain will be on there. And this song is called Operator, um, which we wrote with our producer, Patrick Dampier, and an artist named Angie McMahon, who is from Australia. And we had a fun time realizing what words rhymed or didn't rhyme, depending on whose accent it was who was talking. We were right, though, every time. Yeah, every time. We were right. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play it in the same key as Chuck, too. We just like to keep each other on our toes, you know? <laughs> that was quite a difference there. Did you ever count on me, count on me playing a 
surprise song. Here's a surprise song about the rain, and I love the rain. <laughs> Seen us play this song. Uh, I've already told you the story, but where it came from, but if, if you don't know already, it came, it was just so beautiful. I liked telling it yeah. just because um, we were working on like a couple of other songs one night in our studio, and, um, and Mira's mom was uh, down the street in her apartment, which was right next to our apartment, <laughs> um, for a year and a half. And uh, she, she recorded this voice memo of, of a thunderstorm that came through town and, and just texted it to us and we just dropped what we were doing and wrote the song like, pretty quickly. Um, and it's one of those songs that I didn't realize what it was about until months later when I was playing it. Uh, we'd already played it a bunch for people and I realized that I, um, when I was a kid I used to hide under a table when a thunderstorm would come and hide my, cover my ears and um, so, yeah, I just realized that this song, I think for me, is about cutting through the fear and finding the beauty. It's called I Recorded the Rain. There's a really, really beautiful ending on that 
Uh, that ending section on the, the recording we did for the new record is pretty amazing. It's like, for me, it's, it's like imagine um, like a star exploding. How, like, imagine how, how beautiful that is. Yeah. That's what it feels, but it feels yeah. like bigger than that. It feels like a, like like a, a star, cosmic star. A universe exploding. <laughs> In a good way, though. <laughs> not, not, like the end of, not like the end of life as we <laughs> Like we're seeing it through a telescope. <laughs> like a firework. <laughs> Supernova. It sounds like the end of the world. <laughs> Like the beginning of the world. The beginning of the world, there you go. Um, well, here's another, this is like the, the new album section.
Is it for a couple more songs? Absolutely. Yes. Great. This is such a, a cool and unexpected space. Yes. I love it in here. It's, it really feels nice in here. Shop. This is so random. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I'm interested. Uh, I want to know. Well, we we, <laughs> shop, we now our local grocery store is the Kroger. We shop at the Kroger, and I was just looking at the big Y, and, the, and, I, and I just I got like nostalgic for it. <laughs> I missed, missed the big Y. See, I grew up in West Virginia, and Kroger was yeah. the Kroger. So it was nostalgic to all of a sudden have that again. Yeah. Well, here is um. The song, the opening song from uh, our record from the light, and um, we like to dedicate this to all of us. Feels um, like a a good song to play right now, to um, or just at any times of division. It feels like a good reminder to um, remember that we're all human. Yeah. 
around us on the rooftop and not falling off the roof. Yeah, our friend, uh, <laughs> he had this like, one of, this like mini version, I assume, what they use like in movies, that it's just like this thing he has around his waist and he's like, you know, going like this and it's um, it just like, you know, keeps it from being, it's like smooth, it's yeah. super smooth. And he's like walking, smooth. he's like walking around doing this like kind of slow 360 thing around us. And there are moments where he's like, like, not close to the edge, but like not far either. So you're just like, <laughs> like <"Sup?"> yeah. <laughs> Keep it but no one was no one was harmed in the <laughs> making. <laughs> I got a picture of him after we did it, like hanging over the edge, like taking a photo of him. I was like, he's not afraid. Just... <laughs> anyway, that has nothing to do with the song. That's okay. I mean, kind of. Uh, it was the title track of the record. This right. is the title track of the record, and. Um, and if you have heard us play this before, then you have probably heard us say that after we wrote this, we found a quote by Ram Dass that says, we're all just walking each other home. And that's exactly what we were thinking about. Yeah. 
got one more song for you guys. Let's hear it again for the Marion Gilbert Library. For the Arts Council too. I think I've, was that everybody to thank? Massachusetts, Cultural Council. Massachusetts Cultural Council. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's incredible um, that organizations exist that allow for uh, us to bring music everywhere. And so we're so happy to be here. Thank you guys for showing up and hanging out with us tonight. It would have been way lonelier without. So many ways. We know um, we're going to drive home safe. We know it's late. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's seven o'clock. Yeah. It's past seven. It, might, it looks like it might be midnight. <laughs> I have to tell one. So this one time, Chuck and I went out um, with his sister and and um, her husband, and it was like the first time they had gotten a babysitter and they had kids, and we were or in a while, and we were going to go out and we were like went out to like bowl and like we we're having beer and all of the things and they were gonna the babysitter was staying till midnight and we were gonna stay out like really late. So we went out and we had a really good time and then they everyone was like, oh, I'm really tired. Let's go home. Okay, it's time to go home. And we got in the car and turned on the car and it was was it 930? <laughs> I see the sun coming, coming up. up. So the whole time we were driving home, it was like the sun's coming up. We stayed out so late. <laughs> well, here is a song about goodbyes that are not goodbyes, um, and we've been saying lately, feeling the importance again of spaces like this that build connection and um, and sort of hopefully undo a little bit of the division um, that we are feeling in so many ways. Um, so thank you guys for being here. We're grateful to play songs for you. Uh, and the song is called Not the Same as Goodbye.
myself when we don't know how to play the song that someone requests, but what any 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 requests that we didn't play that you might want to hear, anyone? Or we can just surprise you. Surprise us. Surprise. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Or here. Here, we'll give you a choice. Do you want to hear a Hank Williams song, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, or Restless Heart? Restless Heart. Oh, okay. They don't 